Welcome to the Common Man Football Show. My name is James Coburn, and today's episode, uh, we're reacting to some recent news by the Miami Dolphins. Uh, they traded a undisclosed 2018 draft pick uh, for Stefan Anthony in a trade with the New Orleans Saints. So I figured I would just give you a little bit of background in terms of uh, his college production, uh, his athleticism traits, and then, of course, get the overall view of the trade. Um, they haven't disclosed what that actual pick is yet, uh, but I can just kind of uh, spitball it, at least in terms of uh, value and like what he might bring to the table. Uh, so starting with Stefan Anthony's uh, production out of college, uh, he had a 50.6 uh, solo tackle mark share score, uh, which compared to all multiple All-Pro linebackers since uh, 1996, uh, they all had at least a 90 score or higher. Uh, so all pro outcomes are pretty much off the table uh, since 1996. There has not been a single multiple all pro linebacker to score less than 90. And unfortunately he didn't score there, but he also didn't hit the Pro Bowl threshold of 77 or higher. 100% uh, of multiple Pro Bowl linebackers uh, since the 1996 NFL draft class had at least 77 or higher, and Stefan Anthony did not hit that threshold, uh, only scoring 50.6, which is essentially average, uh, pretty much dead on average uh, solo tackle uh, production. The positives though, when it comes to him, is in terms of his athleticism data. Uh, based on his athleticism data compared to all linebackers since 1999, he had an 84.64 explosive lower body strength score, 90.64 speed score, and 92.96 flexibility score. Uh, based on this data, he pretty much hits every single threshold indicative of an all-pro Pro Bowl player, meaning that he has the athleticism traits indicative of an all-pro Pro Bowl player, but does not have the uh, production out of college matching that. Now, whenever these types of players show up, the only sort of silver lining or just little nugget to kind of think about with this particular trade is there's always potential for a guy like this to be a starter. Um, there's been a handful of linebackers who did not score the best with solo tackle data. Uh, Thomas Howard is an example of one of those types of guys in the past. Uh, DeAndre Levy of the Lions, or well, formerly of the Lions, he's another linebacker that's kind of like that. So there's some potential that because of the athleticism traits that Stefan Anthony has, that he could end up becoming a long-term starting linebacker. Uh, and when you look at the Dolphins situation, uh, with one, you, you, you of course lost uh, Raekwon McMillan to injury early this season, and he was definitely somebody that I would have considered a, a, a big contributor. So you lose uh, uh, Raekwon McMillan, and then on top of that, you have all this Lawrence Timmons stuff that I'm not even really going to talk about because I don't, I mean, I know as, as much as anybody else who reads the headlines. So. Uh, you have that whole thing with him reportedly leaving the team and all these other sort of things. Um, so it's just not a good situation. So I do understand this trade. I, again, I don't know what the, the draft pick in question is for a guy like this. I would not expect him uh, to become a high-quality player based on the data because there just has never been a high-quality player based on his production data. And, and when there's never been... A high quality player based on that particular uh, data point it, it doesn't make sense to say that he has all pro Pro Bowl upside when there's just never been a guy like that but is this guy is this a person that could become a starter someone that could definitely step in and, and possibly get a role on the Dolphins defense because of all the issues you've had with linebackers you know injury and then of course whatever the situation is of Lawrence Simmons absolutely so now, overall, I think this is a pretty decent trade. I mean, it is a trade somewhat out of desperation, but I do think there is some chance that he could become a long-term starter for you. Maybe not a high-quality guy, uh, but he's definitely somebody that has some athleticism traits that are positive. It's just a matter of him developing and going from there. Uh, so, of course, my name is James Coburn. Uh, you can find my work at draftcoburn.wordpress.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at Geometrics. And if you like this content and you want more content like this, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Uh, share this video as well for anybody that you know, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.